This black scientist changed agriculture forever. Yet history reduced him to just the peanut man. His name was George Washington Carver. Born around 1864 into slavery in Missouri, he came into the world frail and sickly. His father died before he was born, and when Carver was still a baby, raiders abducted his mother. She was never seen again. George and his brother were left behind with their enslaver, Moses Carver, who raised them after emancipation. Because of his poor health, young George never worked the cotton fields like other enslaved children. Instead, he helped in the household and spent his days fascinated by plants, flowers, and herbs, a curiosity that would shape his entire life. Against the odds, Carver became the first black student at Iowa State Agricultural College, where he studied agriculture and later became its first black professor. At Tuskegee Institute, he dedicated his life to science, turning nature into innovation. Carver discovered more than 300 uses for peanuts and over 100 applications for sweet potatoes. He created peanut oil, plastics, paper, soap, fuel, even synthetic rubber. From sweet potatoes, he made glue, flour, rubber, and dyes. He didn't invent the peanut itself, as many believe, but he transformed it into a lifeline for poor farmers. He also promoted crop rotation, teaching farmers to grow peanuts, soybeans, and sweet potatoes to restore soil exhausted by endless cotton planting. This knowledge helped thousands of families escape poverty and hunger in the South. But Carver's genius reached far beyond America. He advised three U.S. presidents, Theodore Roosevelt, Calvin Coolidge, and Franklin D. Roosevelt, and even counseled Mahatma Gandhi on nutrition and sustainable farming. In 1923, he won the Spingarn Medal from the NLACP. And in 1940, FDR dedicated a national monument in his honor, one of the first ever for an African-American. Despite his brilliance, Carver never became wealthy. He turned down lucrative offers from companies like Henry Ford, choosing instead to serve poor farmers at Tuskegee. He patented almost nothing, believing his ideas were gifts from God to be shared. While industries grew rich from his discoveries, Carver lived humbly, often giving away his small earnings. In 1940, he donated his life savings to Tuskegee to support future research. By the time of his death, in 1943, Carver had transformed agriculture, inspired leaders across the globe, and become a symbol of resilience. Yet he left behind almost no money. George Washington Carver proved that black brilliance shaped the modern world, even when history and industry and tried to erase his true legacy. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell for more untold stories.